After the reveal of Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Advanced Ghost Op 7, I've been meaning to talk about the franchises a little bit because it's kind of a big deal at the moment. As you can tell, we're not really in on the idea of another generic fucking futuristic first person shooter that looks like Destiny 2 on fucking acid. And it seems we're more lenient on a new World War 1 shooter and honestly, there hasn't even been that many World War 1 shooters that I can think of at the moment. And that's actually a really good thing on DICE! Granted, I'm kind of expecting them to fuck it up like Star Wars Battlefront with the shitty DLC policies, but granted, it's Battlefield, and even though I haven't really been into Battlefield as of recently, my last one I really played is Battlefield 3, I still see great potential in a World War 1 shooter, and you know, that's something we never even seen even during the fucking World War 2 shooter spam we got in the early 2000s. Now, my personal opinion on Call of Duty. Now this is something that stirs up a lot of fag boys who enjoy the series a lot, and generally they disagree with me, but uh... Call of Duty started out really strong. We got really good games like the first Call of Duty, Call of Duty 2, which is an uh, Xbox 360 launch, ga uh, launch game, and one that I really loved and probably one of my favorites to this day still. We got the iffy Call of Duty 3, but basically anything after Call of Duty 3 was fucking hit after hit after hit after hit, whether it was Modern Warfare, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare 3, and uh, Black Ops 2. And those games are fucking great. I mean, granted, it got a bit tiring after a while, but you know, they were still fun to play. But you know, I guess the thing with me is back in the day, you know, I didn't play these games 24 7 like everyone at my fucking school was, and I was always telling them, hey, you know, this shit's fun now, but I'm, I'm seeing the series just decline more and more as the series went on. And people are always telling me, Brandon, you're a fucking idiot, you know, this shit's gonna keep going on forever, but you see, I'm not blind. Activision has done this shit before. Remember Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Remember Guitar Hero? And remember how their last few games fucked up so badly that they're basically not even existing anymore? I'm looking at you, Warriors of Rock and fucking Pro Skater 5, you fucking garbage ass piece of fucking games. <sighs> good, good job, Activision. But anywho, I was always telling people, after Ghost, Advanced Warfare would flop. Unfortunately, even though it didn't flop as much as I thought it would, nobody liked Advanced Warfare. I don't know anyone who actually loved Advanced Warfare. Uh, most people actually either thought it was okay or fucking hated it. And I don't even know a single soul who likes Black Ops 3 all that much. Honestly, it's only popular within the YouTube community who's dedicated into playing Call of Duty for a majority of their fucking YouTube career. Or people who stream the game because they get paid by Activision to do that shit. And you know, that's cool with them, you know, if that's what you do, it's what you do, but... It's quite obvious that after the Infinite Warfare trailer, a majority doesn't really care about what the fucking Call of Duty developers are doing anymore. I'm seeing this game as the definitive moment when Call of Duty fucks up, and it shows. Look at all the fucking Facebook posts about people saying Battlefield 1 is fucking up fucking Infinite Warfare, because you know what? It is. Usually when people say, play Battlefield, it's a real man's game, I usually disregard them because they're just a bunch of fuckboy losers who play that game 24-7 instead of COD. But look at the st statistics, people. Fucking, more people want a World War One shooter. You know, World War One trench warfare boots on the ground shit. Then fucking space fucking cowboy bebop wannabe space in the air shit, okay? Activision clearly doesn't give a fuck what you think. They even told everyone to fuck off and that this is their new Call of Duty and that this is what they want their fans to play now. I actually find it rather ironic that they said Black Ops 2 was the most disliked video we had and it ended up being the blah 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 blah. Okay, first of all, there was a lot of fucking hype for Black Ops 2 when it was coming out. And it's also true that it is one of the most successful games in the entire franchise and I still know people who play that fucking game even though it's way past its prime and I generally don't play it because I'm fucking tired of Call of Duty. But why would you compare a game that was still fucking COD? I mean, it was futuristic and it was a wannabe Metal Gear Solid at a lot of points, but dude, it still had the Call of Duty action that we knew and loved. Like, it had fast-paced, on-foot combat, and it surprises me that the game after Black Ops 2 failed so fucking horribly, which was Ghost, but you know, that's a whole nother story, and this is all about Infinite Warfare, and... You know, 
the thing is about the like thing that I was mentioning is people didn't mass dislike Black Ops 2. Look at fucking Infinite Warfare's dislike shit. There was literally almost a fucking... Not even almost. There was more fucking dislikes for this video than likes. I mean, there's a lot of likes, granted. But still, man, nobody wants this shit. I know I don't fucking want it. And I find it even more sad that they're using Call of Duty 4 Remastered as a fucking point of buying this game. They knew damn well that nobody wanted this fucking game. It's like, oh, well, fuck. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Remastered. I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, if you're so confident that people are going to like this game, then why fucking throw a teaser of MW1 and make it a Legacy Edition $80 purchase? If you really were confident in fucking Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's success, wouldn't you just release the game by itself and release Call of Duty 4 before Infinite Warfare as some sort of hype builder? No, you gotta sell this shit with the fucking game because you know damn well nobody wants this garbage ass fucking Destiny wannabe fucking game. But you know what? It's just Activision, man. And most people fucking hate on EA or Ubisoft, but I've always personally hated Activision for shit exactly like this. Nobody wants to believe me until the shit starts fucking falling down, but hey, you know, I guess this, people have to really see this shit happen before they actually start believing it. And you know what, I'm at least happy that the community is giving Activision their fucking mindset. I'm happy that people are thinking about this shit, you know, noticing that this shit's bullshit and that this game is potentially going to be garbage. Now, I say potentially because the game could be good. I doubt it, because most Call of Duties in recent times haven't. We had three shitty games in a row. But hey, you know, the on-foot shit they showed in the beginning actually looked cool. It's just when it got into that space shit, that's kind of when I lost my interest. Because, you know, I thought Infinity War was going to be all like, Yeah, fucking on-foot action, that's the shit. And then it just went to space, and I'm just... I'm pretty sure just like everyone else, other than the music, that shit was garbage. Now, as for Battlefield 1... Honestly, I have it's hard to really think. I mean, it, it, it just looks really good. I mean I've never personally studied much on World War one like I did World War two But World War one was a really unique, you know time period and it's something you don't it's like a war that we never really got to see because people were too focused on recreating shit like uh, D-Day and all that stuff and um it, it, it's not really something I can speak much on, but I'm just excited to see where DICE goes with it because it's a really, really good period that they could start on and it would be something fresh despite being something really old. It's like something new and old at the same time, you know, I'm really excited for it. But this Infinite Warfare shit's not going to settle for that many people, myself included. We're just going to have to wait and see how good it really is. I apologize if it seems like I don't have much to say about Battlefield 1, but it's just, there's not much as shit going for it as Infinite Warfare, and when I mean that, I mean like bad shit, like, Battlefield 1 just looks like another really good Battlefield game, even though I've never really played both Hardliner 4 that much, but still, you know, it just looks like another good Battlefield game, and that's what we expect from DICE, even if EA has some stupid shit to follow along with it. But I think the saddest part would be is if Infinite Warfare turned out to be Critics like favorite fucking game of the year and shit and it just magically plops Call of Duty into fucking fame again and we get 12 more fucking sequels that nobody really wants and you know I mean we kind of expect that from Activision they're probably going to be paying critics up the fucking wazoo this year because I don't know anyone who's expecting this shit to be like good where no one really wants this game I mean I've already said it man I mean it's quite it's just Let's just see how it goes. That's all I can really say. It could it could end up being a big surpriser of the year. It could end up being one of the worst fucking games ever, like Pro Skater 5. Although, honestly, I disagree with that statement. That's a shitty game, but not a fucking terrible one. Um, it could be fucking... It, it, it could just potentially be a fucking series ender for this franchise. And that's just my opinion. Either this is going to be the final game, or I'll fucking make a coin toss and say the next game afterwards is when COD's fucked. And people will look at me and be like, Brandon, I don't know about that, you're sounding a little fucking biased, but hey, 
You know, it's just facts, man. This, this is a dead franchise. I don't know. It's like a fucking breed that's going extinct. And it can only live on for so fucking long. I mean, generally, any franchise is only going to live for so long. But a franchise this big can only have so much hype for so long. Mark my words, people. Two more games. So yeah, that's my opinion on this whole fucking feud going on right now. And hopefully you guys enjoyed my opinion. I doubt most people will. But hey, you know, I'm just being completely honest. So yeah, thanks for watching.